Let's balance the net ionic equation for CrCl3 plus AgNO3. This is chromium-3 chloride, and we have silver nitrate. The first thing we do when we balance net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see there are three chlorines here, but only one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the AgCl. So now I have three chlorine atoms. Those are balanced, but I need to put a three here to balance the silvers. That gives me three nitrates, but I have three nitrates over here. So that's good. And then I have a chromium on each side. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. That looks like this. In general, compounds with the chloride ion, they're aqueous. Nitrates, very soluble, so they will be aqueous. But there is an exception to the rule with chlorides, and that silver chloride is insoluble. So these substances react, we get this solid. This is a precipitate, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And we don't split solids apart when we do net ionic equations. So that'll look like this. At this point, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So we have the chromium-3 ion here in the reactants and again in the products. That's a spectator ion. We're going to cross that out. We have three nitrate ions here in the reactants and again in the products spectator ions, we cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for CrCl3 plus AgNO3. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for chromium-3 chloride plus silver nitrate. You'll note there's a three in front of each one of these substances. So we can reduce that down to one and we don't write the one by convention. So this might be a better representation of our net ionic equation. You note we have a plus and a minus. That gives us a net charge of zero here. And in the products, we have a net charge of zero because this is neutral. So charges conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CrCl3 plus AgNO3. Thanks for watching.